Football is an exciting part of every town. I know our, our town, everybody talks about it and that's where they go on Friday night. Really had the same team minus a few few scenes that we lost. So I think we can get it. We got started by working hard, working hard every day, doing what you're supposed to. Really, just being, being there, being, being at practice, workouts, everything. We can't depend on last year to help us. Just expect to make it back. Just because we're Cal City, we have to work hard for me and take each game one at a time. You got to play a bit about a perfect game to beat that team, but I'm so proud of our kids because I think we shocked a lot of people by being zero to zero at the first quarter, and we just made some mistakes that you just can't make in any football game to win. It's so exciting for our kids and our community, and I, I really appreciate them the hard work that we know. We know we were three and three at one time to win so many in a row and get here. That's what we shoot for each year, and uh, we'll shoot for that again next year. made it last year. How do you go back and do it again? I think you get back by not worrying about what happened last year and not worry what's going to happen and just win one game at a time. And we're going to concentrate on Cofferville, to be honest with you. That's the first step for us getting back. We just got to take one game at a time right now. We can't be focused on getting back to state right now. We've got to worry about Cofferville and that's it. Is there a confidence that you guys can make it back there this year? I, I definitely think we have a chance, but we do, we've do. we got to execute and do every little thing right and, like I said, focus on one game at a time. We lost a couple good people, and we have a lot of our major linemen and leaders back, our quarterbacks back, so I think the expectations will be pretty high. Well, as the quarterback, I am the leader, or the main leader, so I'm going to take it offense and then Defense, that's Steele's job, but I'm going to hit with that too. Now, are the expectations for you guys to make back the state title this year? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, sir. We want to go back. Got to go back. Got to. I ain't get to play. Thank you. 
What a great game of the week it was for one team, Calhoun City. My goodness, the Wildcats could turn up like none other. A division battle, these two teams undefeated. Calhoun City looked pretty darn good. This is Trey Pittman dumping it off to Lamonte Sally for a decent gain in the first quarter, but this is going to be Calhoun City's first drive and not a bad way to start. Shaquel Gates, this is their first play of their opening drive, and he is off to the end zone. 67 yards for the touchdown. Wildcats take a 6 to nothing lead. Only took them about 2 minutes and 15 seconds to do it. Next drive, this is the guy you want to talk about, Brighton Sykes. We say his name a lot here on this program. Kid's going to be a superstar. How about this one? Out running the entire Eupora defense. Eventually they catch him inside the sand as see Brighton with a little high step. And he would finish off with a touchdown, 14 nothing lead for City. Next drive, more on the ground in the second quarter. This is Shaquille Gates doing the work again, cutting back. Other side of the field, he dies for the end zone, but they call him out inside the five. No worries, that will be called another touchdown in the next play, 21 nothing. And then Brighton Sykes again. This kid is going to be a star, and if he already isn't right now, then I'm shocked. Another touchdown, 28 nothing at that point. Eupora just had no answer for the Calhoun City running game tonight. City wins 42 to seven. They're now nine and zero as they win the division title from Region 4-2A. Welcome back into the end zone. The Schooner River rivalry. It's only been played twice in the playoffs. This was the third, and it was 1-1. One, one. So something had to give tonight. Defense was sort of the thing that was given it all tonight early on. Wesley Ross sacked by Steele Lyles. We have no score going to the second quarter. And here goes Jalen Thomas diving into the end zone. Turn up, City. Wildcats take a 7 0 lead. Plays later, Jamar. Well, he started the drive. You got to let him finish it off. He's going to run it in for the score. I had seven between Bruce and Calhoun City, but the Trojans muffed a punt at the end of the first half, and City takes advantage. Shaquille Gates, Brighton Sykes, shake the hand. That's a touchdown. City goes on to win 28 14. Had to earn it this time, but the Wildcats win. They move on to 2 A North final here now 13 and 0. Oh. God be the glory. I'm really proud of our team because they play with character and get after it. And we just hustled. I'm very proud of our football team. I think that made it easier for us to go last year. I don't think anybody expected us to. This year we expected to. And I, I, I think it made it easier. Well, it was very emotional. But after last year, we knew we were going to uh, have to come back and uh, get it off. We, that's what we did. We have a good group and we work really hard all year. And we just one step closer to getting our main goal done. 
we're familiar with them and not intimidated by them and just, just play the game uh, like you're supposed to. Remember we handle the ups and downs. The game is fully up and down. We can't get too high, we can't get too low. We got to believe in each other. We can't argue with each other. We just got to play the next play. Y'all understand that? Yes, sir. You excited? Yes, sir. Good morning. Let's make it happen. Right. Yeah. 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 at the Bassfield 13. This is where they bogged down the last time. And then not this time. Touchdown! And it didn't take him long getting there either. Patrick Gardner. Pats are going to have to hurry. Here's the snap. Sykes off the right side trying to get in the end. And does for the touchdown. Sykes. Like I told you about the 50-yard line rush. They had to get the ball to that kid. And I knew they would. Kerry Lyles knows what he has. Twin receivers to the right, one to the left. Arnold back to throw and rolls out of trouble. Arnold turns it up the field and it's going to be taken down. That's a big time play turned in by Jalen Thomas right there. You see him in your screen. Trying to answer back the backfield touchdown. Straight snap back and there's your touchdown. Gates looking around. <laughs> Did I get in? Did I get in? Gates will set him down. Gate play action rolling, wants to throw down the middle, and it's got a man wide open, and it's caught. Inside the five-yard line, the quick snap, and I think they got the touchdown. Touchdown, Wildcats. And coming up with it for Calhoun City is Jalen Thomas. From the Bassville 45, Gates the throw, wide open, all the way down the middle. That's a tackle eligible. Look, you call it a tackle, that's a George England eligible. I know how much you've mentioned how special this group is, and especially these seniors. Does this this game doesn't cast a shadow over that this season? No, I, we were counting how many games these seniors have played. I think it's I think it's 59 games. I think every one year they played 14 games. I don't think we played less than that any time. So that's a lot of football teams for a quality group of young men, and uh, it doesn't overshadow that at all because. Um, we remember Bassfield's won the state championship, I know twice now, probably three times. But three in a row, yes. Three in a row, so it's not like we're getting beat by uh, a first-year team or something. And, uh, and our kids got to understand that, that we've been North Half champion. This group was in the North Half championship game three out of four years. So it's just, you know, you got to look at the quality of the program and of the kids. And, uh, not, you know, disappointing in losing. We don't like to lose. But, but when you look back on it, there's a lot worse things happen in life than losing a football game. Uh, we had a great season. I'm very proud of our players and, uh, you know, the season that we have. And uh, we'll overcome this and, and play the next season.